Hey everybody, time for a bit of a hobby update. I'm actually starting to think about some stuff, do some stuff slowly. So what you got here is my UFO, on one of my two UFOs. Um, they are just cheap UFO lamp toys. Uh, they originally came with uh, a bundle of fiber optics sticking out the top and a, and a single LED that changes colors, lights up the fiber optics, you know. Really cheap toy uh, lamp. Uh, I got them from a local pizza game place similar to Chuck E. Cheese's, but local. Uh, one of them is prizes. And I decided to go ahead and loot them. They were chromes. I had to clean off the chrome with some degreaser and convert them up. Now, they're still very hard to work with because they're HDPE and it doesn't take very glue very well. So these are super glued down, but it, it all comes apart very easily if you're not careful with them. Um, but they originally had both big shooters and rockets, so I could use them as defcopters. And they originally had the 60 millimeter round bases with a 45, whatever, the, the clear round base on them. But when the new codex came out, I converted them up to be uh, Megatrack scrap jets. And that's because they have wingtip missiles. This one and this one, they both have wingtip missiles, so I figured they would be most obvious as Megatrack scrap jets. This one I also added a rocket cannon to. Very effective rocket cannon. But they do still have their AA batteries, and they still light up. This one works fine. Off its base enough to turn it on. Probably won't really see the lights too much in. Okay. So yeah, there's just a series of LEDs in there. Yeah. This is kind of weak. And the best part about this one is the blue lights in the engines. I love that part. Um, these are engine cones from a uh, Hawk. The uh, the little Space Marine flyer. It's, I'm starting to forget the names of models. That's how long it's been. Uh, that's pretty sad. This one, however, unfortunately, the battery leaked and corroded the contacts, and I haven't had a chance to clean it out yet. So it's not currently operational. Yeah, it's got pretty bad in there. So I have to clean that out without, of course, destroying the model itself, which is the hard part, which is why I haven't done anything with it yet. These bases are MDF. I picked up off eBay or Sensi or something. Etsy, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was eBay. They're just 150 millimeter MDF bases. And you know what? Last time I looked, I couldn't find any at all. So, yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I can't get any more 150 millimeter bases, but I'll have to end up probably just printing one. I've got oval base template I can stretch up and uh, cut in half to fit on my printer. But yeah, so I want to get a third one of these so I can have my third Megatrack scrap jet. And they're like super cheap. It's like three bucks off eBay for one of these. I just have to break down and do it. Because then I have to convert it up. <laughs> but the one thing that's been, since I converted them up to make a track, scrap jets. The one thing that's been missing, of course, is the drill weapon. The nose drill. And I've been thinking about maybe getting arms from uh, killer cans with the drill. And, you know, it's something I've been thinking about for a long time. It's always on the back of my mind. It's when I just, like, duh, I've got a 3D printer. What am I, why am I looking for bits? So I went ahead and found some on Thingiverse. This, uh, it's actually from a Killican, uh, print. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these in. And it, and it just comes out fantastic. I mean, that's a beautiful drill for being 3D printed. I might cut this part off yet. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, so I just have to figure out where I'm going to put these on here. Um, I was going to think about I really would prefer them to be underneath, especially on this one. I could put it on the opposite side from the um, cannon, but there's really no place to stick it underneath. I haven't decided, so it might be here. It sticks out a little bit too far to be annoying. And to be annoying up here, it would never stay on. Of course, it's going to be magnetized for easy transport. So I might put it up here, something like that, and that would be the nose drill. So yeah, that's what we've been working on, is getting these printed, cleaned up, and then I've got two of them. I'll have to print a third one if I ever break down and buy a third uh, UFO, but yeah, I said I love the blue glowing engines. absolutely love the blue glowing engines. So yeah, that's where we're at with this. Uh, and I have made minor progress with the bikes. 
all the base coats are done and the washes are done. So now I just have to do the highlights. Do all the layering and highlighting, which is actually probably easier, the easiest part of this. So I got a couple of the riders here, the drivers, and the bases I have to do. Again, they're just 3D printed bases. Yeah, so and I've got three more of these. I want to probably build and paint when these are done, if these ever get done. So yeah, just a real quick video. I am still here. I will be putting out two more, at least two more Star Trek tackling videos because I bought the Star Trek Alliance box and the Cardassian Union box. So the next two weeks will be uh, unboxings of those for a tack wing. I need to work on these drills. I still, I th still think I'm going to be cutting this part off. I don't think this claw part really fits with the nose drill look, so I'm probably going to cut it off. It doesn't make it a little more slimmer. Sleek. A little sleeker for the uh, scrap jet part of it. So I want to get these guys going and done. Just to get them done. Just to say I, I, I made some progress on something. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm at. Where are we at for time? Uh, six minutes and of course I'm moving forward to this stuff finally because I have a whole new workstation if you've seen my Twitter I posted a picture of it I bought a large u-shaped desk with lots of storage I have everything I had spread out all at my fingertips and I still have got a lot of sorting and organized new with individual little bits but for the most part everything I know where everything is and everything has a place and everything is in its place which for a hobby thing would be amazing so i'm gonna get some more i'm gonna get some like a monitor stand with some more storage thinking about maybe getting a paint rack um but i don't really think i need it per se but so now my tripod my camera is actually mounted on a little desk tripod right now which is fantastic i don't have to have it in my way and uh so i'm actually over on this side <laughs> instead of behind the camera like I usually am. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with my space. It's very comfortable. It's very clean. And the best part is my old desk got repurposed for my daughter. So now she has three monitor, her triple monitor set up, which didn't fit on her old desk. So she's got my, she's got my old desk with her triple monitors and, and a new gaming monitor. And she's just happy as a clam <laughs> with her new setup. She had a nice USB mic, and her nice gaming monitor, and she and I upgraded a computer, uh, so she's very happy with her setup. And it's actually making more money on Twitch than I am on YouTube. <laughs> so everything's going pretty good. I just have to find the energy and the motivation to actually work on this stuff. Um, I am starting to lose some of my muscle memory. I can tell when I'm painting; it's a little more difficult. So I really have to get back into it if I really want to get into it soon. But yeah, that's it for this update. Again, tomorrow will be the unboxing of the Star Trek Alliance box. And until next time, I will be here. You can always find me on Twitter. I'm there way more often than anywhere else up right now because it's easy. So, And I'm always looking for, uh, or you can always email me at contact at the 40korgs.com if you really need something or I want to ask me a question. Don't ask me questions about the strategy of when it works in ninth edition because I haven't gotten any. I really haven't been into it at all. I didn't realize just how much the lack of playing took the energy out of my hobby. A lot of people will say it's the opposite way where they don't feel the playing gets in the way of the hobby for me. Without being able to play, I don't have the motivation to hobby. So hopefully things will get back um, move to a more normal state before long. And even my friendly little gaming store is tentatively opening for some in-store games. Tentatively. Not quite yet, but soon, hopefully. So everything's starting to look back up. And again, just real quick, if you think I should cut these, this claw part off of here, which I think I will, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.